You asked, what are the different types of EVs on the market? Currently in Australia, we've got three. We've got the normal electric vehicle, which has a battery and an electric engine, and you charge it. And the range for most of these is between 350 and 600 K, and you're looking between 12 and 20 kilowatt hours to charge them. Now you might say, what are the brands? There is the Tesla range, there's the Nissan Leaf, uh, Kia's bringing them out now, and more and more uh, manufacturers will only bring out EVs, and Volvo has just declared that electric vehicles is the only range that they will bring out. That's option number one. The second one is the plug-in hybrid, and that is actually the best of both worlds. You've got an electric engine, but you also have a petrol engine to back you up, so you will never run out. For example, I think the Lexus coming out with a new range that will be plug-in hybrids. So they're starting to increase in popularity. And of course, their petrol consumption is relatively low. Finally, you've got the hybrids, and we have seen them with the Prius and the Corolla and the Camry, quite popular in the Toyota range and more and more other car manufacturers bring them in too and the way they work is they've got a relatively small petrol engine they also have an electric motor but you cannot charge them from outside you will actually use power and the energy that's generated through the braking to actually then charge the battery and we have seen them quite a bit they're quieter than a normal petrol car otherwise you drive them pretty well like a petrol car they also have a lower petrol consumption. The issue that I always worry a bit about what's happened to the battery in 10 years time, etc. But overall, very popular in Australia, but you cannot charge the battery in any way from outside. Now you might say, well, which way do I go? What's the most popular? Where's the future, etc. 2021, we looked at hybrids being the clear winner with over 70,000 registrations, EV number two with about 20,000 registrations, and plug-in hybrids being about three and a half thousand. So you can see that the hybrid right now against electric vehicle is still winning by 3.5 to one. Nevertheless, It is also because quite popular brands such as Toyota have pushed that Camry already for many years, the Prius, etc. And I would expect that as the electric vehicle infrastructure is improving, then also the EVs will over time win out over the hybrids and the plug-in hybrids. But for in between right now, if it be me, I'd go for a hybrid or plug-in hybrid. That way I wouldn't have to worry about where the hell do I charge my EV next. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators, and find your quality local installers. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell, and check out all our other videos. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.